They didn't get to where they are by accident or magic. They got there simply because of leadership. 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 Here, if Ghana is going to become the Dubai of Africa, the America of Africa, what we need is a good leader. A leader who thinks about the youth. A leader who understands the youth. And a leader who will work for the youth. And between the two main candidates, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and John Dramani Mahama, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia stands tall, has the vision, has the capacity, has the integrity, has the capability to take us to the next level. Jehoi, Jehoi, my friends, my brothers and sisters, that is why the elections in December is one of the most crucial this country is ever going to have. And that is why myself and you cannot get that decision wrong. Because if we vote for a wrong leader, it is going to take us the next four years to recover. But if we vote for a good leader, that leader is going to take us to the next level. And that is the era of artificial intelligence, AI, robotics, and all the good things that good youths can talk about. My brothers and sisters, when we are going to vote, ask yourself, which leader can you guarantee that when you finish school, you will get a job? Which leader are you going to vote for? And be sure that the resources of this country is in safe hands. And I tell you, I, I, Salah Mustafa, the National Youth Organizer of the New Patriotic Party, I can put my hand in the fire for His Excellency the Vice President. In fact, not just my finger, not just my hand, I can put my entire body in the fire for him and say, for him to put his hand in the fire. That is the only move, that is the only time, and it's the rescue one that is going to take us to the next level. So I employ you and I urge you as we go back to our homes, our hostels, let's campaign amongst our friends. Amongst our colleagues, amongst our parents, anybody with a social media handle, just post Dr. Baumia's flyer every single day, and you will be part of the history that is coming. And I can assure you, it's a victory that is going to change your life, and change mine, and change the destiny of this country for the better. Thank you, and God bless us all.
to be in the Upper East Region and Bulga today. I come to you as the presidential candidate for the new patriotic party for the 2024 election. I was born in Tabale and I attended Sakasaka Primary School and I attended Tabale Secondary School. When I was growing up, I worked on the farm as a bike work. When I went to London to help get my school fees paid, I was a taxi driver. When I got to Canada, because of school fees, I was a cleaner in Canada. But today I stand before you as Vice President of the Republic of Ghana and a presidential candidate. So, I want you to know that you should not let anybody stop you from achieving your dreams. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. We can get there individually. And we can get there as a nation. I don't want us as a country, Ghana, to be intimidated by the advanced economies. We can do what they have done. We can do it better. It is possible. We have done so much that now the world is entering the fourth industrial revolution. This is the digital revolution, the digital economy that is coming up. And I want to make sure Ghana does not miss out on the digital economy. We have prepared ourselves and what the advanced countries have done and have not even done, we are doing it. Ghana, we have issued the Ghana card to 17.6 million Ghanaians and we are going to continue issuing it in schools and so on. But we have issued the Ghana card. Do you know that America is only now thinking about issuing the equivalent of the Ghana card? The USA does not have it. It is only now that Congress and the Senate, they are trying to introduce some legislation to issue the digital ID in the United States. So Ghana is ahead of the US in the area of digital identity. Do you know that in Europe, in the EU, they don't have digital identities across. They have given their countries up to 2028 to issue for all of the EU the equivalent of the Ghana card to their citizens. So we are able to do things that they have not yet done even in the advanced countries. And today, the Ghana card has become a very, very important uh, instrument for us. Today, with the Ghana card, you know that you do not need a guarantor to get a student loan. With the Ghana card, if you go abroad and your passport gets missing, you can take your Ghana card and board a plane and come back to Ghana. Today, the Ghana card has allowed us to eliminate post workers from the public sector payroll. We have eliminated post workers from SNIT, post pensioners, from the National Service Secretariat, from the controller and accountant general payroll. Why do we, are we able to do this? Because we are requiring that every worker has a Ghana card so that we can check your fingerprints. And post workers don't have fingerprints, so they all run away. 
We have issued the Ghana card and it is going to make it easier for all of us. One of the new policies I'm going to introduce by the grace of God next year is a policy that the application of passport for passports is going to be very easy. Next year, if you have a Ghana card, you do not need to apply and fill forms separately for a passport. All the information you need for a passport is on the Ghana card. So you just get to the website and put in your Ghana card number, pay your fee, and they will print your passport for you. And that will be the end of the matter. So we are able to do so much that many, many advanced countries have not yet gotten there. But one of the sweet things that we've started in this country is that when you give birth to a child today in the hospital and you take that child for way in, you will be able to apply and obtain the Ghana card number for the child and the birth certificate number for the child in simultaneously. They will all be given. This is what happens abroad. This is what happens in abroad today. And that is what is happening in Ghana today. We have also moved on and we have issued a digital address system in Ghana. Ghana must be one of two countries in the whole world that is operating a wholesale digital address system. Two countries in the whole world. Two. That is operating a digital address system. There is nowhere in Ghana that doesn't have a digital address. And therefore we can do e-commerce, we can travel to places without requiring the whole idea of give me a direction, the cocoa cellar is here, the blue house, the big tree, all of that is gone. You have now moved on for us to implement what we call mobile money interoperability. We are all enjoying it. Because you can send money, before it wasn't the case, you can send money from one telco to the other, from MTM to Telesel or to Airtel Tigo. That even didn't used to be the case. But what is more important in Ghana today is that you can send money from a Momo account to a bank account, from a bank account to a Momo account. Ghana is the only country in Africa that has been able to do this so far. The only country. We are at the forefront. The United States of America has not yet introduced mobile money interoperability. They are now trying to do it. The Federal Reserve, the Central Bank there is now raising the discussions for the introduction of mobile money interoperability in the United States. So Ghana is ahead in Africa and we are ahead in the world. We are one of the fastest, we are the fastest growing mobile money market in Africa. And we have become number one in Africa in terms of financial, access to financial inclusion because the majority of adults in Ghana have a mobile money account. And that mobile money account, because of interoperability, works just like a bank account. And so we have major financial inclusion. It didn't used to be the case. Today, we have brought zip line drone technology to Ghana to deliver medicines, blood, vaccines across the country. 2,800 hospitals. Drones are delivering medicines every day, saving lives every day. This is one of the most important uh, interventions that our government has done. I got this, I got this um, experience where my father died so painfully at Tamale Teaching Hospital because we were looking for blood that night of his operation and we couldn't find it. The blood bank was closed. We couldn't find it. And unfortunately, by the morning, he had passed away. So when I heard about zipline drone technology, I got up and went to San Francisco with a team. 
and make the company. And I said, I want you to come and set up in Ghana and help us to save lives. And we have set up in Ghana and we are saving lives. And what is interesting is that in the whole world, Ghana is now number one in the delivery of human delivery services. The whole world, the whole world, we are number one. The largest medical drug delivery service in the entire world is from Ghana. From Ghana. And this is so, so good. And all the drug centers are 100% manned by young Ghanaians. No foreigners are manning our drug flight operations. And just recently, recently, a few months ago, a, a company in San Francisco came to recruit someone from Ghana to go and lead a team in San Francisco on drone flight operation. Okay. And we are leading the world. And so it is very, very important that we understand that we can beat the world. It is possible. We are doing things in Ghana that we don't even understand that we are ahead of the rest of the world in these things. We have just completed the e-pharmacy system in Ghana. That is what, what is the e-pharmacy system? We have put all pharmacies in Ghana on one platform. All pharmacies in Ghana, including 24 pharmacies, in the upper east region who are on the platform. And what has what happened? So today, because of the e-pharmacy system, if a doctor gives you a prescription, you can upload it on the e-pharmacy system and you can tell which pharmacy near you has the particular drug you are looking for. You can maybe tell which pharmacy has the drug and you can tell the different prices from the different pharmacies. So you can order from the pharmacy that you what you, you find the price competitive. We are the first country in the whole of Africa and one of the very few countries in the world to have a national scale e-pharmacy. We are the first country on the continent. 